Amy with AJ's Vintage Designs and Fashion Tappings here to finish off my project that I promised I would finish up for you guys. Remember last time I did the coasters and I did a really easy technique to get that paint pour look and it actually is a paint pour but it's much easier and you can get your paint goes so much farther. What I did is I took parchment paper and I poured my paint and I took a 50% Floetrol to 50% chalk mineral paint uh, blend. I used Dixie Bell paints. And I drizzled it all over my parchment paper. And then I took my, my coasters, or my, these are my little tiles, ceramic tiles, and I smooshed them down in the paint. So guess what? I got a lot of cool designs, but I have paint left over to be able to do a cool project with you. Okay, this is what we call paint skins. See, oops, there, there it is, it comes right off the paper. These are paint skins, these usually take about 48 hours to dry, but you can peel them up. You can peel your paint up in large sheets to use for other crafts. And this is gonna be a really big sheet. You can just keep, you wanna keep pulling, there we go. So it comes off in big sheets. So I'm gonna tear this a little bit smaller so I can hold it up for you. Isn't that cool? So what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be making some jewelry with it. Now this, you can, you can decoupage this on a glass vase, which I'll be doing in an upcoming video. You can decoupage this onto furniture. It's pretty cool. And the thicker your paint is, the more sturdy it is too. And I have paint skins from past paint pours. Look at that, look at the colors in that. Got some gold, and you can use both sides of it on some of them. So I have a, a lot of paint skins. Now to store your paint skins, so once they've dried and if you're not ready to use them, this is what I do. I fold them up like a little scrapbook in parchment paper. So every, to keep them separate so they don't stick together, every fold has paint skins in it. And that's how I store them. So that I can keep them from sticking together and I can use them down the road for a project. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna be making jewelry and I already did one and I love how it turned out. Check out that. See my paint pour is inside that little glass tray. These are really easy to make and very economical to make too. I bought an entire kit. I think I got 24 of these little trays, um, jewelry trays that came with the glass. I bought, uh, it's called Diamond Glaze Water-Based Dimensional Adhesive. I'll put links to everything down below. And I'm actually using uh, Brush and Squeeze. It's a uh, Gorilla Super Glue. So that's all you need and your paint skins. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna bring the camera down so you can watch close up. This is quick and easy and so much fun. I'm gonna make a ton of these things. Okay, let's get started. Okay, first of all, you wanna pick, a, a, pick an area of your skin that you like the design on. And I'm gonna be doing uh, let's do a silver one. So this is like a silver tray. It's a tray and then we have our glass Fitting that comes with that sets on top of our paint paint skin So they come as a kit and I'll put a link down below. I think I got mine from Etsy, but I will put the link down below Okay, so I'm gonna pick an area. Let's pick off a sheet that I've already cut and um, What we need to do is we put our little glass little glass piece on here just to be able to size it and you can see through it so you can decide where you think it looks the coolest where it's going to show through and I think I like that spot right there it's got a little bit of every color in it and I put it on silver so let's go ahead and I'm going to take my little razor blade you can use an exacto knife or razor blade please be careful this is not a project for kids okay and I am just going to hold it down and I'm going to, I've got a cutting board underneath me so I don't cut through my table. I'm just cutting my skin right around the glass without moving the glass. Okay, there we go. That's the hardest part of the whole thing. Okay, so now look at, I have my little paint skin and it's got a cool design on it. The next thing we're gonna do, move this out of the way so you'll be able to see. I'm gonna take my little tray and as you can see, it's, it's recessed. See how it's recessed? Okay, so what I'm gonna be doing now, even the back of the skins are kinda cool. They got little pastel, pastel swirls in them. Okay, so now what I wanna do is, you can use E6000, but I find this brushable super glue is actually easier and less messy. Um, it's by Gorilla, but I like 
the fact it has a brush on it. So I have a lot of control. Okay, so then I'm going to just brush my glue in this tray. Get it saturated, or not saturated, but get it brushed all over, just like you're painting it. Okay, so I got the glue in there. Next, I'm gonna take my little paint skin and I'm gonna lay it in there. Okay, see how easy it is? Press it down there so I didn't know that the glue is stick, sticking to the back. So even that right there without the glass is pretty cool. Okay, so the next step, I'm going to be putting the um, diamond glaze on top. And that is because I, I'm gonna be putting this glass on top. Now I could just brush this on the diamond glaze and leave it like that because it would give you a very shiny finish. But I like the, this big dome look of the glass. So I am using the glass and it comes with these and I like the look of it. So I'm going to be adding the glass to it. Okay, so I'm going to put three, dot, uh, three dots one end at the middle and at the other end. That's got a bubble in it. I'm gonna try to pop that bubble. I shouldn't have shook it up first. So, okay, I'm just getting the bubble out. There we go. Okay, so I have my three dots, three little dots in there. And next, I'm gonna take my glass and just set it right on top. And that diamond glaze, is just, it's like liquid glass. It's, it'll dry completely translucent, just like glass. So you won't be able to see the glue underneath our little glass topper here. And I don't know all the jewelry terms. I am a, just a DIYer, and so since I'm a painter, I'm taking advantage of all this leftover paint. I don't want it to be wasted. So this was, I thought, a cool option. And voila, isn't that pretty? So now I got my paint skins underneath um, in, a, in a necklace. Then I buy these lanyards, uh, not lanyards, but they're uh, a good quality little necklace with the latches. And I bought them, I think like a hundred of them come in a kit. Uh, and it's very, very reasonable. I bought those so that I have a way to wear my necklace. I'm gonna slide that right through there. And voila, I now have my own custom necklace using my custom paint skins. No waste going on here. I'm not wasting all this paint that I, you know, purchased and, and uh, used for a project. I'm not gonna throw this away. I'm gonna find things to do with it. But, so I can make them in gold, silver, and then I also, uh, my kit that I bought ha comes in black and like a bronze, antique bronze, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna do just one more with a different color. This is an old paint skin that I did. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I'm gonna find a better skin. So I'm gonna look through my skins and see which one has kind of a cool print to it. I'm gonna use this one, and I can do the same thing. I'll do this in fast motion, but then you can at least see something more muted versus something very colorful, and I will put it in the bronze one. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started, and I'm gonna do this in fast motion. Okay, that one's much more natural tones. Okay, cool, I'm so excited. I could be making these things all day. Didn't these turn out nice? I absolutely love them. There's all three of them side by side. And you saw how quick and easy it was to make them. Okay, well there you go, quick and easy project. I am in love with these little things. And I made them myself. I just think this is an easy way to make great use out of all those paint skins or paint pourers, the leftover paint that you have, this is an easy, easy solution. I'm gonna make a ton of these. And then I can make them in colors I want and I can have one for every outfit if I want to. Okay, and I'll put a link uh, also here at the end with the video on how I made the coasters and how it actually gave me my paint skins that I was able to use for this project. So this is a fun little DI fashion project. And I just love them, I love them. But take advantage of your leftover paint. Make them into paint skins. They are versatile. Like I said, you can put this on canvas. You can put it on glass. You can decoupage it. Look at it, it's, it's flexible. You can put this on pretty much 
anything you want to. So save your paint skins. Now the jewelry, I do recommend letting them sit 24 to 48 hours so they, that glue gets to set up and it's completely dry before wearing them. But uh, I put mine on right now anyway just because I'm so excited. So, Okay, well this is a quick and easy project. My name is Amy with AJ's Vintage Designs. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe down below and click on that little bell. That way you get notified each and every time I put a new video up. I do a little bit of everything here. Painting, sewing, crafting, uh, and I have a lot of videos I can go through and binge watch as well. And uh, that's about it. You can follow me on Facebook at AJ's Vintage Designs where I do free painting tutorials every Friday night and I have a library of videos there as well. Okay, until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.